Okay, what is going on everyone? I am C Pax from you guys in a tropical plant update. And if you guys watched my videos the past week, we had a hailstorm. Um got a little bit of damage you can tell here. I'm, I was going through when I was uh, talking about the plants. Coconut tree did really well, survived. Um, but all the plants are in this corner over here. In case there was wind and hope, hope it protect if there's ever hail. But it's been probably a couple years since there's been a hailstorm. But I think all the plants should be okay. Coconut tree's doing really good. You got new new leaves getting bigger here. Um, it's continuing to get bigger. I'm really happy how how everything's most of them survived or did pretty well. We got the passion fruit here. This is gonna be getting a new pot in a couple weeks. Um, I got a pot picked out for it. I'm definitely gonna start doing a lot better. It definitely needs it definitely needs more room and new dirt. It just definitely definitely went through the dirt. It's really outgrown. It really has outgrown the pot. Okay, first kind of damage we had here. We can definitely tell the leaves are kind of messed up, but it did shield the seeds, so it did sacrifice um, itself for the seeds. Um, so there wasn't too much damage to the seeds. But we got a new one leaf open up here, so it shouldn't be a problem. It'll start looking better probably in a couple weeks. You definitely see how much it has some more damage on it. Um, and same with the Hawaiian flowers, you can definitely tell us some damage on them from the hail. Um, definitely was not ready for a hail storm. It was four, it happened four o'clock in the morning. So definitely, it was all like isolated storms too. So we had a very slim chance of that even happening, and it, it happened. But I think it should be fine. We got all these new leaves growing. Definitely should be okay. For the um, it smells like something really weird. It smells like gas. I hope it's not a gas leak. But anyway, um, pineapple plant. You can definitely tell. What a hell hit because it had the marks on it. But uh, it's still growing, it should be fine. Um, this one might be going into a new pot too. We'll see. I might switch some stuff around. And then we have over here we got all the seeds. The sunflower seeds are finally coming up. Not really really any damage to them too. I'm really surprised, but like I said, the banana tree sacrificed some of its leaves to help save it. Um the cactuses we only one broken half. I don't know where it is. It must heal really, really. Oh, I think it's this one right here. It healed really, really quick. Cactus are really interesting. Like if they break, they heal really, really quick. Like you can't even tell there's any damage. There's any damage to them. But they're all they're also doing good. We got the Hawaiian flowers out. Not the Hawaiian flowers. The tropical flowers. Now we're the ones that are over here. The ones that had the weird looking flowers, all different colors. I plant all those seeds. Now they're all coming up. All looking really good. So I'll have them. Probably get some more shady because they do like these kind of plants, like some that were shady too. So they'll probably do a lot better than they did last year. So I planted probably maybe 50 seeds in there somewhere. They're all still starting to come up now. It was it was really really sunny earlier. Now it's gonna, about to rain soon. So of course that would happen. I just want to get this video before it starts raining. Um, hibiscus looking good. Uh, it doesn't look good, but barely. There's a little bit of damage you could tell from the leaves. It wasn't really too bad. But this one also needs a new pot too. Definitely outgrowing the pot. But this is the one we just put in here because we had in the ground last year over there with these seeds over here. Those flowers. Oh, I think I spilled some sprinkles. So they're all doing good. I'm happy everything survived. Um, we, now, we now have a tree there. Um, these flowers then, these, these are all going to end up being like flowers too. They all seem to be fine from the hailstorm. I'm definitely worried. It was definitely not 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 good. Um, we got the raspberries here. I'm going to do a full out view of all of everything until I start the garden update. Um, I am putting grass here to keep the moisture in because we had a little bit of problem at last year. Was, I had to water it every single day. It was intense, but it's definitely really grown all out of control now. It's growing this way instead of growing down this way. But in time, it all it all work out. You can definitely tell it's flowering. These are all doing good. And we got the blackberries here. Uh, there were, I don't know if there's flowers, oh, there's a couple flowers in this one here. These are all looking good. Whoa, did I fall down the hill? And we got the biggest plant here. We got a bunch of flowers in here. So finally these are going to flower. Looking, it's going to be really good. And my plan might actually work. I want them all to combine together and eventually all come, come together. Oh, hi guys. No, oh, they're being chased around. There were baby bunnies down here too. They were being fed right there. And I ran away because I didn't want to disrupt them. 
grips are doing good. Everything's doing really, really good. Um, the garment update will be coming in approximately the week after next week. Because all the finals will be done. Everything's all going to be good and go. So, that starts that whole series again for every day in the summer. So this will be really, really fun. I can't wait for that. Okay. Strawberries have also had no damage. They're doing really good. And they're starting to flower. I think it's, I don't know if they're the pine berries or the regular strawberries. Not too sure. I guess we'll find out when, they, when the strawberries get bigger. And they're going to be white or they're going to be going to be red. Okay, we got all these flowers in here. Each one of these is going to be a blueberry. It's going to be very intense here. We got, we have so many blueberries. And we're getting six more for over there too. So we're going to wait a couple more weeks for that too. We'll be doing all that when the garden comes together, so it'll be happening at the same time. Um, not really any damage to these guys, surprisingly. I had them right here, even though my car did get nicked, but I guess these, I don't see any damage on these plants. These are, uh, orange trees looking real good, got a lot of new leaves growing on that. I don't really see anything damaged from the hail. It's looking, this one did real good, looking real good too. You got the pomegranate here. You got some flowers starting to grow. And once we get, I think all next week they'll be outside. I think next week to be it, and they'll be outside pretty much 24 7. Getting that time of year. So we have the lemon tree right here looking good. All these new leaves growing. This plant's gonna be really, really big by the season, I bet. And I need to get citrus fertilizer. I'm gonna try to fertilize maybe once or twice, maybe a couple times a week. So these, all these plants should be doing really good. This banana tree is, I think, really the only thing out here that got somewhat of damage. But this one's just hanging in there. So this is a fighter. It's a good, good one. Even though we lost this banana tree. I'm not sure if anything's going to sprout. I have to, I still have to check. It might have a sprout even though this has died off. But, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to maybe wait or just pull it up and see if any sprouts are going to be grown. So, and last but not least, we have the, the lime. A bunch of leaves growing here, so... All these plants did really good. Most of them survived, or they all survived. Um, not too much damage on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week for our awesome tropical plant update. Thank you guys for watching.